So our next unit, we're gonna talk about atmosphere and weather. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is the atmosphere and the air around us. You may know this and may have heard this, but air does have mass and it does take up space. So if I were to leave this room, air would take up the space that I'm in. When I come back, the air would leave that space. Now, those concepts are kind of hard to understand because we can't see the air around us, it's invisible. But there are some things we can do to prove that air pressure, that air is pushing all around, on top of the table, the side, and then under our table. So, first thing I wanna do, and have a little glass here, pour some water. You can use plastic, and these are things you can do at home. I would do them over a sink. I'm doing it over this big bowl so I don't spill it. Sometimes it doesn't work, you know how science is. I'm gonna put my index card on top. I'm gonna turn it upside down. And the cup is staying in place. Sometimes kids say, oh, because the water is making it like glue, it's sticky. That's not what's happening. The air is pushing up on the on the paper, which is making that stay on the cup, okay? So, that's one. So what about, what if we do a larger glass? Well, good question. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll pour some water in here. And I cut part of a cereal box, so you could do that if you don't have big index cards. I'm gonna do the same thing with it. You just gotta make sure it covers the whole glass. Again, the air pressure is pushing up on the paper, keeping that in place. So it's not a magic trick. Again, the water is not making it stick. That's one of the most common misconceptions that I get every year, okay? It is air pressure. Okay, so those are two fun little things you can do at home. This next one is also good. It's really gonna show you that air takes up space and when that air leaves or the air pressure uh, diminishes or gets smaller, then something else will take up that space. So I'm gonna use this cookie sheet and add some water. Not a whole bunch, just enough to kind of surround my candle. I have a little votive. I'm gonna add some food color so you can see the results better. Our favorite thing around here is food color. So I'll kind of mix it in. Okay, again, this one really needs to be done with parental permission and supervision. So now I'm gonna light my candle. All right, so I'm gonna light my candle. And my lighter's not working. So always have plan B ready. As you know, fire does need fuel. That fuel is oxygen. So I'll let that candle, there we go. It's afraid it was gonna go out. Let that candle take. So I'm gonna put my glass on top of the candle. Now, if we were together in the classroom, I would stop and say, what do you think is gonna happen when I put the glass on top? And some of you'd raise your hand. So right now, I'll take a couple seconds to think about when I put this glass over my candle, what's gonna happen? Okay, so let's just observe. So watch very carefully. Keeping in mind, fire needs fuel. Okay, so if you guess that the fire would go out, good. But did you think about as it burned up that oxygen and burned up that fuel, what happened to that space that was left? Well, what happened was the water then filled that void. Sometimes we might say that the water was sucked up into the glass. That's not real scientific, but you do get the picture. Okay, so I know a lot of times you guys like to do things twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time real quick so you get a good visual. Keeping in mind, air has mass, it takes up space. Light my candle again. Smell that sulfur this time. Okay, let it 
have a good flame and then I'm gonna put my glass. Don't use plastic for this one. Glass is best. We're gonna observe again. The oxygen's being burned up. You can't see it, but you can see what's happening because it is. And the water really rose in the glass this time. So keep in mind as you do your lessons this week, and guys, you really need to do them in order. They build upon each other. Just like if we were together in the classroom, we would do Mondays first and then Tuesdays. If you skip around, you're gonna have a hard time sometimes keeping them straight, okay? So keep in mind, air does have mass. It takes up space. It's pushing in all directions. And that's our first component of the atmosphere and weather. See you later.